first steps here is going to be to release the screw and then tighten this up so we can get the well head off and get in there. The next step in this process is using bleach. That's what we're going to use to shock the well in this case. So you're going to want to dump in, depending on how deep your well is and how much water is in there, anywhere from about a quart, half gallon, somewhere in that zone. I've got about a half gallon here, so I'm going to use, actually, i got about a third left, so I'm going to dump quite a bit of it in. Just like that. Now we're going to take the hose in here and uh, let the water start flowing and get this mixed up. Make sure you don't hit the electrical wires either. You don't want to get a shock. There we go. Get that in there and get the water turned on. All right, you can hear a water running in here now. So what we're doing is we're gonna mix up the water and the bleach that's existing in the well, get it mixed up, and then when it starts circulating out through the house, we're gonna wanna run the water in the house for about a good hour. And that'll help clean out all the pipes and uh, basically get a diluted bleach solution through there kill all the coliform and anything else that might be in there that we don't want. Alright, we're back in the house and it's been 10 minutes and we're going to uh, now turn on all the water in the house. We're going to want to run in all the faucets to keep uh, the water circulating through all the pipes. We're going to want to run this for about an hour. So, and I also recommend that you open up the windows, unless you like the smell of bleach, because we're going to be smelling a lot of bleach in the house because it's going to try to get it all out of the system. Because we don't want to be drinking bleach water, we just want clean water. Time to wait. All right, we're back now. It's been about an hour. Now we're gonna do the most important part of the entire test, and that is to take out our test kit and make sure that all the coliform's gone. Um, I like to use Avocet, they're a local company. It's only $18 to test a well, which is pretty cheap. So you're gonna to wanna to pop the seal off of that. Make sure you don't touch anything or dump out the little stuff that's in there. You're gonna to wanna to fill it up using an interior tap. Uh, just over that line that they've got there. Seal it up. Avoid excessive temperature and uh, within 24 hours, but I'm going to go right now, drop it off at Avocet and we're all done. Uh, within 24 hours, probably tomorrow, they'll give us the results and hopefully this one will be clean.